Dear Chirima, are you okay? Sis, from one big sister to one little sister, I just want to tell you this. Do not let all of this derail you from your plans, okay? There's a saying that goes, thieves do not break into an empty house. What does that mean? It means you are beautiful, my darling. It means you are stunning and you are a threat. If you were ugly, we were not going to be having this conversation. If people didn't see the possibility of you even walking away with a crown, we were not going to be having this conversation. And I hope at the end of all of this, you write a book titled Surviving South Africa. And I want you to know that God has got greater plans, okay? Because of all of this, you've got international recognition. And whether you win Miss South Africa or not, I hope an international modeling agency snaps you up and you're in Vogue magazine and we're out here flying African flags very high for one of us. And I'll tell you what, a lot of South Africans in this country would sense support you. Angola supports you. Mozambique supports you. Nigeria supports you. Congo supports you. Because when you go out there and you represent South African Miss Universe and you win, you're representing African girls. Okay? And we will always be proud of that. Good morning, family. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe. I'll be so grateful if you do that. So here is a statement from Chidema herself. She is withdrawing from uh, the competition. And the minister has made a, an interview, has done an interview and he made a statement that uh, this is not from Chidema's heart. That's because they were taking Chidema to court because of, uh, for her to actually um, explain how she got her citizenship so she was told that she either have to withdraw from miss south africa or they are gonna take her to court so i think then she decided that the best way is better for her to withdraw from miss south africa so that was an interview that was made by the minister himself so that they this he made the statement saying that this is not from chidema's heart which of course why will it be why will it be from her heart when she has made it up to the till the final so why will she want to withdraw so i can understand that it definitely was not from her heart but she was made to actually put this statement just because it's either she has to go to court and explain herself and um also they are still saying that under they are still under investigation that uh, about her citizenship so that is not done and so the reason why they don't want her to involve herself into they don't want her to be in miss south africa that's because um is still under investigation about her citizenship even though she was an infant at the time so this has nothing to do with her even though they have explained that at the time that she was born that was the time that if you were born in south africa uh, by um, parents who are resi a resident in South Africa, you automatically become a citizen of South Africa. Not right now, but at the time Chidema was born, it just seems like he, some people are just so clueless and they just don't even want to understand. Some people, I also feel like some people watch these videos not to understand what is going on, but they watch the videos just to comment on the, just to put their own comment to say that, yes, we are xenophobic and we want her to go so i don't understand that how people will just stay on youtube just to comment that yes we are xenophobic we want her to go it makes no sense but yes there are people like that but i'm so excited that she has withdrawn on this because i just felt like it, we were probably gonna have one of the highest xenophobia we've ever had in south africa so i'm so glad that chidema has finally taken her herself out from this she should have done it earlier than this i think but um i guess she did not understand the country that she was living in and the country she wanted to represent but it is a lesson for everyone anyway so i think that she has made probably this would this it would be the best decision she has ever made for her life because this was gonna be a mess and i can say that i was i couldn't sleep the other day because i was just on social media and i could see that there was something big was coming like people were planning to shut things down so i just like i was just like why 
where is the mother of this girl? If the mother is a real South African, she should have known better. And also, I think she should have known that this girl was not actually meant to even go and put herself into this Miss South Africa. So um, the fact that her father is a Nigerian, I just don't think that as a mother, I would allow my child to go and represent South Africa when I know that my child's father is a Nigerian, knowing the, the, the drama between South Africa and Nigeria. So what, why will I be doing that? So that is why I've kind of feel like yes i had an idea that the mother would be would not be a south african and as well for the mother not to even come up to actually support her child for her child to go through this for this like this girl she was trending number one every day for the past few days and she wouldn't come up and say anything I just knew that something was a little bit fishy here. So, but um, at the same time, with the fact that Chidema was born in South Africa, I still stood on that, that the fact that she's born in South Africa, she's a citizen in South Africa, I believe she still had the right to take a part on anything that has to do with South Africa. Even if it's not Miss South Africa, I don't support anyone taking a part on this. Um, I kind of feel like it's one of these pagan uh, celebrations. So so I don't uh, like this type of stuff. But anyway, she still was taking a part of this. That was because it was her right. So I'm super excited and I just didn't even want, I wasn't even in the mood to update you guys yesterday. But yeah, so she's finally out from the competition, which that's what everybody wanted in South Africa. I know this might look so good for the South African citizens right now. But one thing we have to think of, some of us that have traveled around the world, there will be a time when a country will need other countries support. That's one thing we have to have, to have in mind. Even when we are coming on this social media and commenting things as well, we have to keep in mind that and as well in South Africa, we have experienced this in the past. There will be a time that it, South Africa will need other countries. So you have to look at it this way. By doing all this, do you think other countries are not looking? Other countries are seeing social media and are seeing how really South Africa is. So I do think you guys have to really think twice when you're putting all these things on social media that social media is just <laughs> uh, you think think twice think twice before you do all those things on social media that is why celebrities they come up and support the girl even maybe some of them knew that something is not right but they still support her because they can't say oh no just because her father is a nigerian guys they take it easy on all these things that's all i have to say now, I do understand that there's going to be one or two people on the comment section that, that will come and blame the family for fraudulent ID. One thing is that I do not blame someone who is sitting in a corner shop with the 3310 Nokia using a free Wi-Fi because probably that person has never been in the home affairs from the first place. So you wouldn't know that if the ID is registered in the home affairs, that means it is original. So so where do you think that person got it from got it from the home affairs and who do you think is to blame is the home affairs because they must have got to, gone to the home affairs and got the id all right so some of the things we need to educate ourselves before we start to blame people this girl she was very young so it was her parents fault and she i have absolutely nothing to do with this and again like i said this should be a lesson to some people as well that before you get your yourself involved in kind of family you have to check and check everything to make sure that you don't get your children registered on a fake document okay so anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again on my next one bye